Celebrating the NASA worm, NASA telescopes spot a record-breaking black hole and the first science images from a new space observatory. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On November 6th at NASA headquarters, we hosted a panel discussion about the design and cultural significance of the NASA worm logotype with Richard Daney, the designer of the worm. In 1992, the worm was retired, but it has been brought back for limited use to complement the agency's official insignia known as the meatball. I can't even in words express how rewarding it's been for this to come back. It's always be a special place in my heart for NASA. Learn more about The Worm on the July 24th, 2020 episode of Houston We Have a Podcast, the official podcast of Johnson Space Center. Astronomers using our Chandra X-ray Observatory and James Webb Space Telescope have discovered the most distant black hole yet seen in X-rays. The black hole is at an early stage of growth that had never been witnessed before, where its mass is similar to that of its host galaxy. This result may explain how some of the first supermassive black holes in the universe formed. On November 7th, the Euclid mission released its first science images, including this image of the Perseus Cluster, a group of thousands of galaxies about 240 million light years from Earth. Euclid is led by the European Space Agency with NASA contributions. It will begin its regular science operations to study dark matter and dark energy in early 2024. Our new on-demand streaming service, NASA Plus, and upgraded app are now available. These new digital platforms offer original video series, live launch coverage, kids content, and the latest news. NASA Plus is available for download via the NASA app on iOS and Android devices, as well as streaming media players Roku and Apple TV. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov.